Wisdom teeth, or third molars, are the last teeth to develop and enter your mouth. If wisdom teeth come into the mouth in a proper position and meet certain conditions, it's generally accepted that you can keep them. However, they are still prone to disease. Even if you experience no pain and have no symptoms, this is why the American Association of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgeons strongly recommends that third molars be evaluated annually from the time a patient is a young adult. Studies have shown that about 9 out of 10 people have at least one wisdom tooth that can't break through the gums in an upright, functional position. As we say, it becomes impacted. If left alone, an impacted tooth can become infected or damage neighboring teeth. That can lead to gum disease and even the formation of cysts or tumors. By the time you feel pain or notice that something is wrong, it may be too late to prevent the problem. The tooth does have to be removed. It's better to do it when you are young and the roots haven't fully formed. There's less chance that the roots of the teeth will damage nearby nerves or other structures. Oral and facial surgeons are the recognized specialists in the management of third molar teeth. Usually the surgical care can be provided in the oral and facial surgeon's office. The surgeon's skill and knowledge of anesthesia care assure you of a safe and comfortable surgical experience. If after consulting with your family dentist and oral and facial surgeon, you decide to keep your wisdom teeth, they do require proper management. That includes professional cleaning on a regular basis, annual checkups, and periodic x-rays to monitor for changes. This will ensure the best possible oral health as it relates to your wisdom teeth. Hi, my name is Mark. Hi, I'm Phyllis. Hi, my name is Roger. And my story is I went to the dentist because I was having a lot of pain in my back teeth and I had wisdom teeth impacted. It seemed to him that there was an unusual amount of bone loss. Several years ago, I was having some pain with my uh, wisdom teeth and I went to the dentist to have them evaluate and see what was going on. Along with that examination, they determined that I had a, a tooth that had never descended and was actually fully grown and impacted in my nasal cavity. I had a swelling on the side of my face and I went to the dentist and he immediately walked me down the hall to an oral surgeon. I had a huge cyst. It had wrapped itself around the nerves to my face and it was larger than a golf ball. And he recommended that I see an oral surgeon and he agreed that it was unusual for someone in their 30s to have this amount of bone loss. And he suggested strongly that I take an HIV test. And so I did, and it uh, turns out I was HIV positive, and the result was showing up in bone loss in my mouth, severe bone loss. After my general dentist referred me to this maxillofacial surgeon to talk about uh, you know, possibly extracting this tooth, I had never even heard of a maxillofacial surgeon before this, so I was quite intimidated. He seemed pretty confident that he knew what he was talking about, and that, made, that put me at ease. The oral surgeon had equipment that the dentist did not have. He told me what had caused the cyst, that it was caused from the impacted wisdom tooth. He told me um, the, the severity of the problem, so he recommended that we do surgery immediately, which we did within, I believe it was a few days. There was a lot of sadness around uh, losing my teeth and feeling HIV, knowing that I was HIV positive. And then to have such a, a, a wonderful experience with this oral surgeon, not only just the work that he did on my mouth, but the, um, the understanding that I could be healthy again, that he was encouraging me. I hate to think what would have happened if I'd never gone to the oral surgeon that day. Basically, he saved my face. I think the surgery went well. I have a smile that I'm proud of. In my case, it was really about saving my life. I would say to that oral surgeon today, thank you. Thank you so much for helping me understand about my own personal health and self-care. Thank you.